Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a first look at the Naika Runner Pro. This is a pair of bone conduction wireless Bluetooth headphones. The benefit being that you can still hear what's going on around you in addition to the music because your ears won't be covered up all the time. However, what makes this model a little bit more unique is it comes with built-in storage, 8 gigabytes to be specific. So it's a little bit of a throwback to the days where Sony also made neckband style MP3 players. What that means is you don't even need to connect the device to Bluetooth to your phone at all times, you can technically just save a few thousand songs directly on the neckband and playback music locally, again just like an mp3 player, but also of course has the regular Bluetooth if you want to hook it to your phone, computer, or tablet. Of course it's going to be waterproof, you can use it when showering and it will still survive, has 16mm drivers which should be pretty large, also claims to have low latency and in terms of Kodaks it supports SBC and AAC, although it doesn't support Qualcomm's aptX at the moment. Packaging is quite elegant. It says Bone Conduction Non-Plug-In Runner Pro. It's accented in gold and we have a quick peek at what it looks like here on the back of the box. And inside of this sleeve we have another box that says Be Open. Again, very well presented. Opens up kind of like a book and we have access to just the neckband on the side. That includes a quick user guide, the proprietary charging cable which again is magnetic and uses these pogo contacts as well as for syncing data so make sure you don't lose this cable. Finally there's also some spare earplugs that they also give you so if you really want to block out all the external sound you'll just be listening to the music which can still pass through due to the bone conduction which is happening but you can still cover up your ears. As aforementioned if you are in a construction zone this will also be beneficial because you don't have to turn the volume as high uh, compared to like a traditional driver or speaker since it will be a little bit easier to pass through so it might be safer on your hearing as well using this type of technology. So anyways in terms of the neckband itself the Runner Pro it is very lightweight constructed entirely out of this poly carbonate plastic but has a soft touch rubber material over it that is slightly grippy. This basically rests on the back of your head and this slight hook here basically rests over your ears as you're wearing it for some added uh, resistance so it won't really fall loose even if you are jumping around or walking about. And then this side here basically hangs outside of your ear uh, without really popping in. There's nothing on the other end as you can see there. As far as the controls are concerned, they are integrated on the side so we have a power key that you can tap on for a few seconds to turn it on and to pair it using Bluetooth as well as the traditional volume keys. There's also a microphone for answering phone calls that's also built in. And on the other side we also just have a magnetic charging adapter slash data transfer uh, which is again proprietary. Now on a full charge these neckband headphones should last for around or eight hours in the Bluetooth mode but it's a little closer to 10 or 12 if you're using the offline local mp3 player mode with the Bluetooth turned off which is okay. It's about average for bone conduction tech which does consume slightly more power than regular drivers. When you turn it on by default it's in the local storage mode. You can tap on the power key then once to pause the music and also double tap on these two keys to skip tracks ahead or forward. If you want to go into the Bluetooth mode, you can double tap on the power key after it's turned on, after which point it will switch into the Bluetooth mode. As far as the sound quality is concerned, like most bone conduction tech, it's better than you'll expect uh, in the sense that it does provide a relatively clear sound and fairly full sound as well. However, it will struggle to have as much bass, typically speaking, compared to a traditional driver, which can get a more snug fit um, as you're wearing them. So although they will slightly rumble or vibrate um, on the side of your head as you're wearing it, it doesn't really pack too much of a deep punch in terms of the bass. But Overall, mids and trebles do sound very clean and also have a sufficient amount of detail. Although it might not be audiophile grade, it still does the job in terms of being pleasurable for listening to music with. Overall, I thought that they were clean sounding and sounded pretty loud and clear. One thing I will say though about bone conduction technology is it still does occasionally leak a little bit of sound. It's not going to be completely silent. Basically as long as these sides are resting on any material which is porous and can amplify the music you'll be able to hear a slight trace of the sound. So if you're putting it onto a wood or a hollow table for example you can still hear a little bit of the music if it's being played back. So if someone is standing really close by and you have the volume turned up at let's say 80% they might be able to hear a trace of what the 
content you're listening to is. However, if you're using this in a noisier environment, which is really the benefit here, uh, like in a construction zone, it's going to be so loud around you that it's still going to be a very private listening experience. So that's just one thing to quickly keep in mind. I was able to watch videos on YouTube and Netflix and everything was still in sync and was quite enjoyable, didn't encounter any disconnections or anything like that, uh, which is pleasant. For gaming, they also worked well enough. So basically for any media content and also for music, of course, they will do the job and worked well. The fit, I will say, is snug, but there's still a little bit of movement sometimes depending on the size of your gears. As for moving around, they felt secure enough. But if you're doing something like swimming, for example, I would still say it might be a little bit different difficult since there is some degree of movement. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this uh, headband style bone conduction pair of headphones. In this case, what again makes it unique is A, the waterproofing, and B, the fact that it has that offline 8 gigs of built-in storage to be used as a dedicated MP3 player. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.